Beware of the blob, it creeps and leaps and glides and slides across the floor, right through the door and all around the wall. It was the hit horror film of 1958, a story both ludicrous and dreadful. For some, a big blob-eating small-town America was an allegory about McCarthyism or the Eisenhower years. For others, it was just funny. The movie quickly became considered a cult classic. The blob's most memorable scene? Panicked townspeople running out of the town's movie theater after the blob eats the projectionist. Dave! Dave of the theater! That was the voice of Steve McQueen, you heard, believe it or not. The Blob was shot in Pennsylvania. Each year, residents of Phoenixville reenact the stampede from the town's historic colonial theater that's featured in the motion picture. Shane Stone is the organizer of the Blob Fest. He joins us from, I'm told, a phone near Phoenixville. Are you afraid to be in Phoenixville because the Blob might show up again? No, we're not afraid. We have plenty of fire extinguishers on hand if things do get out of hand. So, oh, now In the movie, we should explain that the Blob can only be maybe not defeated, not destroyed, but he doesn't like the cold, so the fire extinguishers have CO2, right? Exactly. That's how our townsfolk, our heroes back in the day, wrangled him under control. Now, I must say, to look at the blob, this kind of gooey red stuff in, in the days of special effects, with all due regard, is not particularly impressive or intimidating. The blob itself was a, it's, it's in a five-gallon bucket. It's a big tub of silicone red gooey gel. And mm-hmm. what they did to make this creature move around was they just actually had miniatures of the sets, and they would put the, the, a blob of this goo on there and actually just tilt the set and the camera to make it appear like it's you know oozing across the floor or whatnot. So not very high tech, but it worked. Yeah. Now, when did you first see The Blob? I'm a 40-year-old guy now, so I was probably 9 or 10 when I caught it on a cable show that would run the classics Mm -hmm. and the B-movies of that era on Saturday mornings and whatnot. And I remember just being kind of spooked by it as a kid because we weren't jaded by CGI effects or anything like that yet. Mm -hmm. So that was something we all kind of talked about, like how they do it, you know? Does anyone in the film actually refer to this tub of goo as The Blob? They never do. It was never actually intended to be called The Blob. The original working script, I believe it was called The Molten Mass or something like that. (laughs) And then somehow or another, it just ended up being the blob. So, yeah, you're right. The blob was never actually called the blob ever in the movie. I want to ask you about Steve McQueen's performance. This was his first real movie role. But the message of the blob, it's the town. It's right. people united who saved the town. Steve McQueen was the guy who kind of roused everyone in the town. And yeah. it's, it's that classic story of that era was, you know, these darn kids today, what are we going to do with them? But really, they're the ones who are in the know. And it's the kids who run into the high school and strip it of all the uh, fire extinguishers, and they beat back the blob. Exactly. So, yeah, we should give these guys some credit here. I was flabbergasted. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I should say flabbergasted <laughs> to learn that the title song was written by Burt Backrack. Burt Backrack, exactly. Yeah, can you imagine that today? Beware of the blob, it creeps. I, we creeps keep joking that we're going to get Burt out here. The falling on my head. I'm sorry, what? We keep joking. We'd love to get Burt out here to, you know, perform for us. Mr. Stone, very nice talking to you, and uh, I don't think I've ever ended an interview before by saying happy Blobfest. No, thank you. Shane Stone is organizer of the Blobfest, being held this weekend in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. It's not dead, is it? No, it's not. Just frozen. I don't think it can be killed, but at least we've got it stopped. This is Weekend Edition from NPR News. I'm Scott Simon.